live with another video. It's your boy 828. Um, and today we're going to do the keeping it real review. Uh, we're going to keep it real with you guys. Uh, I had it this phone. This is a Note 5. And um, I had this phone for about a week. I bought it on release date, which was last Friday. And uh, today's Thursday, which makes it a week. Um, I got the 32 get. 32 gigabyte variant mine's from Verizon and uh, I want to just start off with the stupid bullshit that I've been hearing this Pengazi all this stupid bullshit people come up with um, and let me tell you uh, I read some some you know some other channel reviews where they were saying that oh the note 4 didn't have this flower the 3 which is total bullshit um, give me a sec let me go get my note 4 so I can show you how much bullshit this is real quick hold on Alright guys, we're back. Uh, I guess I should have had my note 4 on hand, but <laughs> it's whatever, I mean. But let me show you guys how total bullshit, even the note 4, you were able to stick the pin in backwards. Let's take out the pin real quick. And we're going to stick the pin in. See? So, don't be giving me that bullshit that... Oh, the Note 4, you weren't able to do this on the Note 4 and all this bullshit because you could do this on the Note 4. No one made a big fucking issue about it. And let me tell you guys something. Let me let me tell you guys something real quick. I'm trying to stick, you know, what, you know, it's a dumbass. Who, what a dumbass would want the pin sticking out, you know? You got to think about it. The pin... It's pointed into arrow shaped, which makes it fit snug. If you put it in backwards, it's not gonna fit all the way. And stop being a dumbass, you know? It's like it's like if your lady goes and buys tampons, right? And she shoves that tampon up her ass and then bitches about the tampon not working. Well no shit, Sherlock. The tampon's not gonna work because it's up your ass. And it's the exact you know, it's the exact same thing that goes for the pen. You know, the pen's not gonna work if you stick it in backwards. Just like if you sticking the tampon up your ass. You know, the only thing you're going to be getting is shit. You know, you're going to be bleeding. <laughs> Lady's going to be bleeding everywhere. <laughs> but uh, don't don't be a dumbass, you know. Like I said, don't be a dumbass. Be putting the pin in backwards. Uh, no one said the pin was supposed to go in backwards. And like I said, all these other bullshit-ass channels saying, oh, the Note 4 did not have this issue, which I just showed you, which is total fucking bullshit. But, um... Another thing, take a word from me. I have a friend that works with one of these big channels. And man, oh. And he was telling me that a lot of these a lot of these channels, some of these people have stocks with iPhone or they're sponsored, you know, by Apple, they get free free shit or you know have something to do with a different company or whatnot. And this, you know, they do all this bullshit sometimes so that way you you're you're discouraged from buying the note for but the note, the, I mean, the note five, my bad. <laughs> but uh, don't be discouraged. A lot of this shit is bullshit. Like, it's not really a flaw. You know, this pin wasn't meant to be inserted backwards. What a flaw is, is like the iPhone. I mean, I stick this phone in my front pocket and my back pocket. This phone hasn't bit. And the iPhone 6, you know, I mean, who doesn't stick their phone in their pocket? I mean, that's, you know, I, where else would you stick your phone in your pocket when you want to put it away, you know, you're in the streets or whatnot? So that was a flaw. Your phone's not supposed to bend. This phone doesn't bend. It's like if I put this shit in my back pocket or my front pocket and the and the glass just shattered just from being in my pocket. You know, that would be a flaw. That would be like, oh, you guys put some cheap ass material. You know, like that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to make that, you know, example. That's a flaw right there. And that's, you know, that's not a flaw. It's a bunch of bullshit people. Some of these video channels just try to make stupid ass videos on everything. I mean, sometimes they make videos on the stupidest shit, you know, just to get viewers and you know we're we're not all about that you, you know we make videos just you know so you guys know if you know you should buy this phone or not but just wanted to get that shit out the way you know just let everybody know that shit was stupid as fuck you know but uh i want to start off with you know things that i didn't like about this phone uh number one was one thing that i really really used all the time which was the ir blaster as you can see there's no ir blaster in here this is the Note 4, the IR Blaster is right there. So 
why could they not have you know they did it the s6 has an ir blaster how the fuck does the note 5 not have one and the reason i use mine besides the remote tv i have some led lights in my bedroom which uh, i use my rgb remote and i have to sometimes you know i have to pull out my s6 you know it's an inconvenience sometimes i have to be carrying two phones or have my s6 around which yeah like i said it's a it's a fucking inconvenience i mean how the hell can you not just you know, put IR blaster, you know, they're gonna, what they're going to do is take shit away and then they're going to bring it back and say it's a new feature, which, you know, I, I, like I said, it's just a bunch of bullshit. Uh, another thing is um, the price. The price, I, these phones go around on Verizon for 700 bucks, you know, after tax, uh, you're looking at like around um, 760 where I'm at with tax, which is not cheap. And the, the thing is, honestly, I remember back in the day, flagship phones were 500 bucks. Um, 2011, 2010, I, I remember I bought Razer, a Razer for 500 bucks because, let me show you guys. I still have unlimited internet with Verizon. As you can see, I've already used 65 gigs and I still got about um uh, almost almost two a little over two weeks and a half left so i'm gonna use about 120 gigs in the month that i you know but uh, like i was saying you know um back in the day phone flagship phones were about 500 bucks now they're 700 bucks and the bad thing is they they're putting out one every every year so 700 bucks what could you get for 700 bucks you could get a tv you could get a badass sound system uh, a bunch of shit and you know a, bu a bunch of these stuff that you're gonna keep around for longer than a year. Some of you guys buy a year a phone like me every fucking year. Like the Note 5 comes out, I'm gonna buy that shit too. You know I mean? The Note 6 comes out, I'm gonna buy that shit too. The S7 comes out, I'm gonna buy that shit too. And you know, my money's gonna, the phone's gonna devaluate. It, it's, it's just, it is what it is. It's gonna devaluate in, in money and say if you buy a TV, your, that your TV's gonna be there. Um, who knows, you know, to that, sh that TV, you blow up the TV or, or you know, you're mad at your lady, your lady's mad at you or you punch a wall, uh, punch up, <laughs> punch a hole, <laughs> punch a hole on the TV. Um, so, I mean, like a stereo system is always going to be there until the speakers blow out and whatnot. You could always replace the speaker and whatnot. And these, um, you have this, you bought this, what, 700 bucks fucking year later. That shit ain't worth nothing more than 300, 400 bucks. And because people are going to be like, oh, no, the Note 6 out. So I'm not going to pay close to what I could get a Note 6. So yeah, price is ridiculous. I mean, almost, that's a, a you know, it's a, like I said, a TB a sound system, um, whatever you wanna, you know, spend money that it's gonna be there for longer than a fucking year. Uh, another one is uh, the phone is slippery. Um, but, I mean, I got a, I got this, uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's underneath the case. It's a, like a, um, a back protector for the glass, which, I mean, makes it less slippery, which is what I like, but like with my S6, that shit was slippery. This is not as bad as the S6, but you know, it's still glass. The only time I don't have a case on it is when I'm here in the house, you know, or around carpet or, you know, or somewhere I'm going to drop it and I know it's not going to break, but this shit is mad slippery. Uh, and another thing I don't like, another thing I don't like is the non non-removable battery, but it has its pros. The battery does have its pros, but you know, on my Note 4, I had like four, six batteries for it. You know, swap it out. You, it's, you, I mean, you never had to really charge the phone, you know, because if you had a battery charger for your battery, you just threw the batteries back onto that charger and you were rocking that the battery till it died and you swapped it out in like less than 10 seconds. So, I mean, you know, that is a convenience. You could carry six batteries, you know, compared to a battery bank, which is sometimes they're real large, just depending on what size you get. But I mean that's an inconvenience. Uh, I mean sometimes like eh, you know if you if you uh, you're at home and you know you're gonna have a little take a little nap, put it in the charger for an hour, and this shit is gonna be charged up. Another one is the no no expandable memory, which yeah it sucks. But there's ways to get around that shit. Uh, I'm I just ordered a couple stuff. Um, should be here maybe next week. And uh, I mean, a lot of people use the cloud. A lot of you know tech savvy don't people don't know what the cloud is, and which you know it's honest, honest people. It's it's you know, they're eighty percent of people will just use their phone. You know, they don't know about cloud storage. They're not tech savvy. They they just 
you know, they get the minimum because they don't want to spend 100 bucks for a 64 gigs, which I bought a SD card from Samsung, a 64 gigs for 34, 30, around 34, 35 bucks. So why are you charging me $100 for fucking 32 gigs more when, I, you know, SD card is a 60, um, I mean, 35 bucks for a 64 gig. Yeah, straight up highway robbery on that bullshit. So, you know, that shit I don't like because you're pretty much just giving them your money. But... Anyways, those were pretty much all the flaws that I, you know, I, I, I didn't like about the phone. And a lot of people say, well, well, how come you didn't say micro? Uh, this one doesn't have the USB, uh, micro USB type C port. Well, I really don't give a shit about the micro USB type C port. You know, uh, it's not like it's implemented and everything. And, you know, maybe next year you'll get it. So, I mean, it's whatever. As long as you charge your phone and transfer data, then... Then you all sit, you know. But um, let's start off with shit I did like about the phone, and I, I'm gonna try and make this video. I'm try, you know, not make it too long because I, I gotta go get a haircut right after this, and uh, I gotta go get my beard trimmed. <laughs> and when I say beard, is my beard on my face, not my not my nuts. <laughs> uh, but uh, um, thing I really do like is the design. This shit is a high premium device. This is nothing like those plastic phones. Uh, you, uh, let me let me take off the case real quick so you guys you can see it and it's all its full glory but um you can see this this is a beautiful phone if you get the white you won't get so much smudges I mean the fingerprints you you won't be able to notice as much as I told you guys I have this case makes makes this is a protector <laughs> makes it less slippery and and you know protects it from scratches but uh as you can see it's a beautiful design the only thing the only thing that really pissed me off is that this this frame the aluminum frame on this is the same as the s s6 edge plus if you if you think about it you see the back is uh curved this would be the front of the s6 and this would be the back so they they pretty much went ghetto mode they you know pretty much just gave us the same fucking frame they're like they were probably like oh well we'll just you know they probably had a couple of hundreds of these frames and some you know whatever but whatever you know uh, it's a beautiful phone uh i like the I like the glass in the curved back. Uh, I think it's better than the S6 Edge Plus because, um, you know, like you got, uh, your natural palm is curved, you know what I'm saying? And in the front, I mean, when you have the S6 Edge Plus, it's straight. It's, you know, I don't know, but it's a better looking phone. As you can see, the beautiful, I, I like the antenna bands, you know, how they integrate, integrate, <laughs> integrated, aided, to, uh, you know what the fuck I'm saying, into the phone. And it's a really nice looking phone. Um, to be honest, I think the S6 had a better uh, aluminum sides on here. If you have an S6, you know what I'm talking about. But it's a beautiful, well-built phone. It looks like the bottom of the S tip of the S Pen is also aluminum. It looks, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. But it's a beautiful, well-built phone. You know, anything that you had, Sam, any S from, if you had an S5 and bottom from the Note, Three, I'd say, because the Note 4 was pretty well built. Uh, but, you know, and it's not plastic anymore. You're not going to get none of that plastic sheep shit anymore. So, it is what it is, you know. It's a beautiful phone. Uh, another thing I like is the processor. The processor on this is the same as the Galaxy S6. But, you know, this thing is runs so smooth. Like, I have had no issues. Sometimes I have, a, as you can see, I have a ton of pages open. A ton. Uh, this is not the, probably the most I've had, uh, but, you know, I've had like about 40, 40 applications open in the background, and this thing has no lag. This thing, people are like, well, what's, a lot of people don't know about this, you know, a lot of tech shit. They're like, oh, what's an octa-core processor? What's a quad-core? Let me put it to you in easier terms. An octa-core processor is like having... A car with a V8. That's pretty much, you know, the best explanation. This car, I mean, not this car. This phone has a V8 under the hood. This shit has the power to fucking run all these applications so smooth. And the thing is, you know, don't get, don't get, you know, a lot of people. This is, this Note 4 is a 2.7 gigahertz quad core. So, yeah, it's a 2.7 gigahertz, but this is a this this octa core which like i said this this could be like a this would be like a four cylinder on a turbo but this shit you know 
this shit could be pulling out 300 horsepower, but this one's a V8 stock engine with 500 horsepower. So trust me, that octa-core, you want to have octa-core, you know, under the hood. That's just like, like I said, it's like having a V8 in the car compared to a V4. That's a, the best way to explain, explain it. But let's move on to the next thing, which is display. This is the same exact display as the Note 4, but it has to be one of the best, best probably on the market right now. It's beautiful. Some of you will say, you know, pops out the color too much, but you could also adjust that in settings. But this thing is beautiful. Like, like I have, I have a black back, a black, <laughs> a black background, and um, this shit makes the colors pop. I mean, it's. If you have, if you've had a Note 4 or an S6 or any phone, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna say every phone with the, you know, with the 2K display because uh, the LG G4 is different than this, and the Moto, the Moto Nexus 5, you know, the 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 2K display was kind of washed out, but you know, Samsung already makes badass TVs and they implemented this into their phones with badass displays. I mean, the color on this. It's sick and when you get that 2k 2k content on here it's beautiful you have so much detail on the you know on the on whatever you're watching it's it's beautiful as it is but uh you know right now nothing no there's no other display there is no other display beating beating samsung at the moment and uh we're gonna just put this behind there so prop it up but i guess never mind it's just slippery as fuck like i said slippery and uh Another thing is the speaker. Uh, the speaker placement, uh, like I said, it, it is better than the back. It, um, I mean, it could be the best, you know, is it in the front. I mean, everybody knows that when something's facing you, you know, music, you know, it's the best when it's facing you. But uh, like, I hold my phone like this, like this. When I text, when I do anything, I hold my phone like this. And I'm sure a bunch of you do too which muffles out the sound look at that covering up the speaker in the back ain't best place at all but let me tell you guys something the other day i was watching a video and it also depends on the video that you guys are watching but the quality that came out of the speaker was i'm not gonna i'm gonna put it in best terms i could is was so beautiful the sound sounded so crisp so clean it kind of sounded like you know had a, a lot of definition to the sound. I, I, that's the best way I could explain it. But the sound was beautiful when it came out. And like I said, it all depends on the video. The video I was watching wasn't a music video. It was it was some cooking show that, that I have on my subscriptions, which is pretty cool. You know, I like watching some of this cooking shit. You know, what what not. And uh, the video sound, the video, the video sound was top notch quality for some reason i was like wow i was so impressed i'm not gonna lie i was impressed with the and this is a i think a 1.2 amp correct me if i'm wrong but you know it's way better than the note 4 and it, like i said it sounds so beautiful uh, i also have an s6 which i'm recording this video with and it's, the s6 kind of sounds distorted so it sounds to be honest when you turn it up all the volume sounds dist distorted this this one this one doesn't seem to have that problem. This one does not seem to have this distortion went up in, you know, high volumes and whatnot. But the video quality is, I mean, the sound quality is awesome, guys. I mean, take my word, it is awesome. Uh, try to get this shit moving. Um, another thing that I, that another thing that I wanted to mention, mention that we talked about since we talked about the processor was that I've seen a lot of videos having not mentioned this. But this has category 629 LTE. Now, a lot of people are going to be wondering, what well, you know, what the fuck is he talking? What is what is this category 9, category 629 LTE? Well, what this means is that, say you buy a car, right? At the top speed of any any city or highway, I mean, any <laughs> any highway is 60, 65 miles an hour. So they make cars that only go up to 65 miles an hour, then that's top speed. You cannot go any further. Or they put a governor in there that, you know, so that way you don't go any higher than that. Well, what this means is that this phone, say say they change the speed limit up on the interstate or highway up to 85. Well, this, this phone will be able to be able to reach those speeds which will be your download speeds will be faster and your upload speeds will be faster. And on your Note 4, 
you will only be able to go up to 65 miles per hour. This, you know, this is the best way I'm putting it. You know, this phone will only go up to 65 miles uploading and downloading, and this one will be able to get uh, up to 85 miles per hour, which you know, high megabit, high megabit, higher megabit bits per second. Uh, some of y'all understand what I'm talking about, and some of y'all won't. But that means if if it takes if it takes you if it takes you to download a song or a video five minutes, it takes you to download a video or a song five minutes. It'll take you five minutes to download it. This phone will download it in three minutes or two. So you know, it'll be faster. That's what I wanted to say. A lot of people didn't didn't talk about that, but this will have eventually. You know, when they update. Then the you know speeds on the 4G LTE. This will be able to download stuff faster and take advantage of the speed, while your Note 4 will not. You know, so you're gonna be stuck, uh, you know, on the right lane of the traffic, going to slow, going going to speed limit, while we we're gonna be passing you in the left lane. <laughs> but uh, another thing was uh, well, let's, let's keep talking about things we do like, which was the improved. The improved fingerprint reader, just like the S6, this has the the same fingerprint reader. If you had the Note 4, like I said, the, the Note 4 fingerprint reader was straight up garbage because you had to go like this, you had to slide it perfectly, you know, down. And on this, all you had to do is lay your phone. And I'm gonna show you guys. This probably, I'll say, this has a 90 to 100 percent, you know, rate where I'm get I'm getting to unlock my phone. And I'm gonna do a quick example. I'm gonna do three with my left thumb and three with my right thumb so we'll check this out real quick one two three and then we'll do the left side see one two see like i said i would say it's about 90% to, to, you know, 90% hit and miss, uh, hit and miss on the fingerprint reader. Like I said, uh, I, some people were saying that it was 100%, but as you can see, I'm not going to say it's 100% when it's not, because it does, it does have its hit and miss. And they were saying that you could add, you know, add the thumb, the left thumb twice. So add this twice and add two of these. But to be honest, it seems like it gets more confused when you add more more fingerprints you would think you would think it'd get a lot better but it doesn't and trust me it doesn't another thing is the camera the camera on this is a straight up straight up awesome camera it takes way better it takes well this i guess this was a i think if i remember what right this was a 2.1 aperture on the camera and this was a 1.9 the same as the galaxy s6 but the the camera options open so much faster. See, like, let's let's unlock this real quick. Let's unlock this real quick. When you double tap this, there's nothing, and it kind of would have been nice, you know, to you know, with the update, if there's an update to uh, to be able to do that. But check that out. On this, you have to go old oh, camera, and look how long it takes to open the camera. Check that. We'll check it out real quick. Ready? Oh, hold on. You see how fast? And then it still has to focus. So we'll do it one more time so you guys can see that it's way faster on the Note on the Note Five. As you can see, and it still has to focus. So the camera is way improved. As a oh my bad. Uh, has a let's see. Has a couple of features, um, effects. You got your effects as a couple of effects on there. Your HDR, you want it auto on, which I usually leave it on auto. Um, your settings, <laughs> my girl up in the corner. Your settings and um, video stabilization, grid lines, location tags. As you can see, the video just turned yellowish. I don't know why it does that. Uh, review pictures, a quick launch, save pictures, raw file, voice control, shutter sounds, and you know, video size on what you want to put it on. And um, what else does it have? Um, you said there's also different modes. 
got auto, pro, select the focus, panorama, video collage, which you take four pictures or videos and puts it them all together, live, bra live broadcast to YouTube, slow motion, fast motion, and virtual. And you could download some other shit, you know, that um, that used to be like on your, on your, um, that used to be on your note for, but, you know, they took a lot of that stuff up to save memory and um you know free up space on your phone but the camera is a definite go and you also you also have the you also have the five megapixel up in the front and the note 4 was the 3.7 if i'm correct and you could also take hd video so you know on the front you got 1080p hd video which is definitely a must but uh, the camera is beautiful the camera takes best shots uh, let me let me look for a picture real quick. I don't <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to post up some pictures and um, but uh, um, I don't have any pictures. Uh, maybe this one of me, but um, that's just one of me. See, as you can see, the picture the picture looks beautiful. I mean, uh, you you won't get full justice from the video, but trust me, just take my word from the take some badass pictures. <laughs> but uh. Uh, another thing we just talk about is touch whiz. <sighs> this, this is you know they they perfected the touch. You know a lot of people hated touch whiz, but this this is the most fastest you know less bloated touch whiz there has ever been, uh, which you know should have been the way touch whiz. But you know it takes years to perfect perfect something. You know Rome wasn't built in a day, and you know I gotta give a shout out to. I gotta, gotta give a shout out to Samsung for getting this shit right, cause this thing is so smooth. I mean, there's not a lot of bloatware. Most of the stuff that's in here is, uh, you know, shit that I downloaded. You know, most of it's, like I said, you got some stuff like the emergency help, S Note video. Um, let's see what else is on here that was pre-installed. S Health, well, of course, L Health. And there's some stuff that I disabled, but it's not as bloated as it was before. It doesn't have all these nimble jimbo uh, uh gestures and all this bullshit like oh you gotta swipe your your palm to you know change pictures which i never fucking used to be honest with you i had a s4 i never fucking used that gesture uh going like this or you know all this bullshit trust me you're not you, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even use that shit to be honest that was just taking up memory and on your phone and whatnot but it is less bloated uh if you have a g4 then i feel bad for you son because G4 compared to this, this is a, this is not saying like this is a person who weighs 100 pounds and the G4 would, you w would weigh 160. Uh, that's the best way I put it. That's how bloated it is. It's slow. The G4 is slow compared to this. This thing is like I said. This shit is running so fast and so smooth. Um, the touch whiz, you know, touch whiz is probably one of my best favorite, you know, uh, skins on any phone right now because it's so. I'm not gonna say it's the lightest, you know, lightest iteration of any skin or closest to lollipop, but it is, it is real, real light. And I'm actually enjoying the phone now. You know, I don't have to. There's no lag, like I said. But uh, let me see what else we had. <sighs> the S Pen. I also really like the S Pen now. The X Pen, like I said, now you don't, you have to use your fingertip to pull this shit out. I mean, you still do, but. It's not as bad as it was before, and it, it feels like it's a it's a nicer you know built, and it's way way faster. Let me let me let me see. You know maybe it won't do it, but let me see. Just show you guys how long it takes for this. Okay, okay, we're gonna let's try now. See, like I said, you have to have nails for this. Well now, now I mean it's not doing it now, but before sometimes it would lag. It would it would lag to, you know, pull out the pin. But I guess not doing it now. But this one's much faster. Like you can tell. I mean, there is a difference. Look at that. <laughs> you can see that. You know, if that's quick. That's that's also has to do with the processor. Like I said, but it's snappy and um. Like I said, you also got some extra space for some apps that you use the most that you wanna, like I said, put in, put in. I got, 
I got um. Let me see what. I got the sketchbook because I, sometimes I like to draw and do whatnot. There's no, I just left that and Fox 5. So I, I, I honestly, I'm going to take that one off and put gallery. So I'm going to, you know, put stuff that I actually use with, for my S Pen and galleries. You know, whenever you take pictures or screenshots and whatnot, use that. And like I said, like before, now you got this little flying pen slash bubble, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But you can put it anywhere. So if you have your pen out and you want to use the air command, to, you know, just press on that and pop up and which is nice in it I, I, you know it's cool that it blurs out the backgrounds you can see you know just pay attention to that and there uh, there's some also some settings in here uh what settings you got you got shortcuts uh to edit your your apps that are on your air command floating icon the little bubble that we just seen the detach s pen to turn on and that's about it i mean you don't really got much but um you got your action memo to write notes. Let me see. Sorry to click on that. So you can see, and you, you can hear that little sound. It sounds like sounds like you're writing. So you got that, which you've always had on most of your notes. Your smart select. So if um, you know somebody's asking you, they're like, "Oh well, um, what is the Snapchat or what? What are your?" What do you got apps on your your front screen on your you know you just you just capture that and be like well this is what I got in my this is what I got in my um you know what got in my home screen so you could either write on it so you'd be like you could be like uh this one this one's the badass Snapchat and then this is the other one and you can save it you know or send it to a text message and you know whatnot. Which is badass, you know. Like I said, you could share it, you could save it in your scrapbook, or put it in your gallery, and you could also erase what you write on there, uh, on there, or you could do, undo it, undo the last thing you did. But um, you know, most of you, you had a note. You know, most of this stuff is basic stuff that that was already uh, on previous notes. Um, let me see what else we got. Uh, you got screen right, which takes a a screenshot of it and um like i say you could also write on there if you, you, you take a picture of a map or whatever you know you could you could point out where to you know the roads to take which is real convenient you just like i say you let me see let me like uh, let me see okay so like say if you had a map on here you'd just you you know pick the roads and you know whatnot it's, it's real convenient and another thing another thing that it does is uh let me go to my uh let me go to my instagram real quick let me check make sure i don't have any any information on there real quick okay so say you want to sc you want a screenshot what the fuck 50. <laughs> <laughs> how to build a better booty <laughs> say you want to screenshot how to build a better booty you know send it to your lady you you click screen right 